I'm standing by the Wall of Fame at the amphitheater. Now this year at Summerfest, there is a big change. It's one you won't see and might not notice. And as Bob said to me, uh, like three months after retiring, he goes, you know what? I'm not laying awake at night worrying about if this band's gonna confirm or if this band's gonna sell enough tickets or, and I said, well, you know why? Because I am. <laughs> He's the new man behind the music, the one who took over for longtime entertainment director Bob Babish. Scott Zeal is talking with me about his long history at Summerfest and trying to capture lightning in a bottle when they booked the bands, like this one. Imagine Dragons, I would imagine, oh, yeah. also is on that list. <laughs> Two years before that, we they were like a $500 band that played at 6 o'clock in the afternoon on the U.S. Cellular stage, and then they that year we booked them in you know, November, December, January, thinking, wow, this is going to be a good get for the Miller Light Oasis. We had no idea how big it was going to be, and I think we kind of figured it out. And now they're over at the amphitheater. They are, yeah, and they love it here. Imagine Dragons will play the amphitheater the final weekend of Summerfest. First, my interview with the new VP of Entertainment, Scott Zeal. How his team tracks the hundreds of acts booked for the big gig, and what he would like to see with the musical offerings in the future. It's all coming up in our Summerfest Spotlight Special.